Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video I made a list of the best 10 superhero games to play in 2023. If you have played these games tell me your opinion about them, and if you think some games are missing let me know in comments. As always don't forget to like and subscribe. Hope you enjoyed this video. As far as fighting games go, this game sets a precedent for all following superhero games, especially in the form of combat dynamics. Every character on the roster, which has grown substantially from Marvel vs. Capcom 3, has its own unique playstyle. Either you start out super weak and must perform tasks to grow strong like Phoenix Wright, or you must learn strategic differences between powerful attacks like Ryu. A genuine love for the source material on all sides is seen here with complex and fun to look at environments, as well as energetic themes for each character. The game stuck in 7th due to a lack of game modes, and the online play has become complicated due to its age, despite it being a great game to play with friends. LEGO has turned a lot of franchises into great video games and Marvel is no exception. Given that most gamers felt that LEGO Marvel Super Heroes is better than LEGO Marvel's Avengers shows just how great the LEGO game is, as Marvel's Avengers was a solid effort as well. Like LEGO Marvel's Avengers, LEGO Marvel features Iron Man, Hulk, and Captain America as playable characters. But that's not all, as where Marvel Super Heroes really takes the edge is the inclusion of Spider-Man, Wolverine and a ton of other fan-favorite Marvel characters. And with the added dollop of that classic LEGO game humor, it makes for a hilarious but sweet game. Yeah! Deadpool is a game based on the comics that truly understand the appeal of its central character. It's fast-paced, witty, random and confusing in a fun way. The highlight is in the combat, with varied combos and weapons for chopping up enemies to the tune of Deadpool's insane inner dialogue. Like other superhero games applauded for their combat, moves and weaponry can be upgraded by the simple skill tree, adding variety and over-the-top combos all animated seamlessly. On the downside it's ugly, and you gotta be down for the never-ending banter, which can be a lot. Sending reinforcements! Here comes the Deadpool! Time to die! Injustice 2 unlike its predecessor, toes the line between cartoonish and uncanny with its redesign of some of DC's most beloved characters. While its story may be lacking compared to the best DC superhero video games, it's a far more interesting take on individual relationships and personal arcs than its predecessor. By the merit of a better graphics engine, it also manages to weigh outdo injustice gods among us visually. The game's got great character move sets and design, as well as tight controls. It's mid-rank thanks to the microtransactions, and the minimal effect our choices make on the storyline, save the very end. Hope you've learned something. Following his introduction in 2018's Marvel Spider-Man, Miles Morales embarked on his own adventure. Marvel Spider-Man Miles Morales continued the story of Insomniac's 2018 game, but with a focus on the newer Spidey. Miles' combat adds new and fun wrinkles to the established suite of moves, all while telling a tremendous story. Swinging around Insomniac's terrific recreation of Manhattan is enough of an excuse to play this game, but the highlight is getting to know Miles Morales, and his surrounding cast of characters. Everybody get out! Everybody go! No! Don't worry, I got you! Thank you. Man! Those people! They're trapped! I've got an idea! I need something they can cross. No, no, no. I can stop 
Saints Row 4 transformed the postmodern sandbox into a profane riff on the Matrix, and it's an absolute blast to explore and destroy as you see fit. You're faster than a speeding bullet and more powerful than a locomotive, exploring the virtual city of Steelport just like Superman would, where he a sociopathic, deposed president that loves Biz Markie. That alone makes the game worthwhile, turning the simple act of moving from one place to another into a high-speed adventure. But toss in progressively more intense powers you unlock as you go, and ridiculous slapstick comedy. And it's a game that's hard not to love. <laughs> Infamous Second Son isn't based on a comic book or a movie, and it doesn't feature a beloved protagonist with roots in 1940s Americana. Instead, Delson Rowe is a hero for the modern age, a charming delinquent who discovers he can absorb other superheroes' powers and struggles with the choice between using them for good or whatever he damn well pleases. While the first two games have their charms, Second Son is a fuller package, with tons of side content and visual flourishes that make the heroes and the city they're trying to save feel alive. Plus, it gives you access to the sort of raw power you always want to get your hands on. What makes Guardians of the Galaxy the game exceptional is exactly what made the film great to characters. Your role as the leader diversifies combat, as you're mostly directing the rest of your crew with all their unique abilities to complete missions. The writing in this game is truly one of a kind. Quill's interactions with the rest of the Guardians, displayed as dialogue options during and between moments, are hilarious and heartfelt. Bopping along to 80s hits while bantering with the Guardians is peak superhero fun. The story isn't groundbreaking but it also doesn't feel inconsequential and matches the tone nicely. While a relatively short game with unnecessary puzzles that are just meant to be padding keeps it in third, this game deserves far more attention than it gets. I can't believe those snow monkeys got to jump on us! We are on their turn! By bringing a studio known for its ability to craft imaginative gadgets and deliver supremely fun traversal to the Spider-Man franchise, Sony found a match made in heaven. Spider-Man excels in its web swinging and combat, but it truly sets itself apart in its storytelling. Insomniac delivers a narrative that's as focused on Peter Parker and those around him as it is his alter ego, while also nailing the feel of those beloved characters. Just like in the comics, Insomniac's interpretation of Spider-Man is at its best when the life of Peter intersects with the duties of Spider-Man. This game is not only the best Marvel game ever released, but it's an exciting jumping off point for what could become an enormous and promising universe. When playing Batman Arkham Trilogy, you never have a doubt that these developers love Batman. Much like the comics, Batman's portrayal is highly dependent on how Gotham City is portrayed. Gotham is gritty, terrifying and vast, even if the map itself isn't very large. The variety of locations, characters and gameplay really makes you appreciate every facet of this superhero's work. The combat is exceptional, every strike and dodge is animated perfectly to have an impact and flow with combos. Arkham has the best atmosphere, environment, villains and the most fun driving mechanics for the Batmobile. The Arkham games raise the bar by a mile in the world of superhero games and have yet to be matched. I'm calling off the pursuit. It's too dangerous. Sir, we're right here. We can take these bastards. Go 
Don't worry, Jim. He's mine. <laughs>